When does mud become a rock? The answer next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. We have always been told that it takes millions of years for muddy deposits to turn into rock. Those who believe in creation have always disagreed. It seems pretty clear to us that much of the sedimentary rock we see today was deposited during the great flood at the time of Noah, which was not millions of years ago. Creationists generally place the flood at about 4,600 years ago. Impossible, say the evolutionists. Sedimentary rocks cannot form that fast. Well, now it seems that they spoke too soon. While digging some trenches in a salt marsh, a team of sedimentologists found stony nodules in the mud. Further research on how the nodules formed revealed that a mud deposit can be transformed into a layer of sedimentary rock in as little as six months. They found that two bacteria are responsible for this. One species gets its energy from the sulfates in the seawater. In the process, it produces hydrogen sulfide. The second species of bacteria can do the same thing, but if there is too much hydrogen sulfide, it can also change iron compounds so that they react with the hydrogen sulfide and other salts. The result is stony lumps of iron sulfide and iron carbonate hardened into sedimentary rock quite quickly, quickly enough to fossilize any animal before it decays. Science has now confirmed what creationists who believe in the Bible have always suspected. There are natural processes which can form sedimentary rock within the limited time scales required by a literal reading of scriptural history. For a printed transcript of today's program, visit our website at creationmoments.com. And be sure to join us next time for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.